Hello, it says that I'm live. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. It's Monday Night Live. Monday Night Live. Monday Night Live. I'm super excited. Who's going to come on here? Let's see. Who's going to be the first to come on? It might be a little bit harder for me to see my comments because I got two things going on. But my name is Kara Lockwood with Kara Lockwood Art and Furniture Design. And today I am, Myra is the first one here. Today I am going to be using two products. DIY products, which are the products that I, re that I retail. Uh, hi, Catherine Miles. And I'm going to be using piece prints, um, which if you missed my lives last night, I had two lives. Well, hello, everybody. Hi, thanks for coming on. Um, I, let's see, I introduced my line of art on piece prints. So it's pieceprints.com and you can go to Kara Lockwood, look at Kara, the art, original artist's um, collections and you can see all the stuff that I have going on there with Piece Prints. So thank you all for coming. Again, my name is Kara Lockwood with Kara Lockwood Art and Furniture Design, formerly known as Prints. No, I mean formerly known as Kara's Color Me Vintage. Okay, so I'm going to get right at it and I'm going to explain to you what I'm doing. Last week, hello Annette, hi Mary, hi Donna, good to see you again, good to see you again Donna, a new friend, right? I'm happy to have you guys coming on here. So last week, if you were on my live, I do lives every Monday night, so if you do follow me, just know that I will do a live at least every Monday night and then some during, during the week. But last year, I kind of, or last week, I kind of teased this out and I, hi Rob, <laughs> and I said, I'm going to show you how I put this on furniture. This is one of my pieces of art. This is finished in a very high gloss finish, so you can see my ring light reflecting. Um, I finished it in a high gloss finish because I want it to look all modern, but I call this Funky Buds. So if you're interested in this on Peace Prints, you just go to peaceprints.com, Kara's collection, Funky Buds. And when Heather gets here, I'm sure that she will post the link. My feet are asleep, so I better sit up for a second. I'm sitting on my feet. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So we're going to apply Peace Prints to three drawers this time. Yesterday, we applied it to the top of a piece, which apparently is the easier way to do it. This, I'm doing it to three drawer fronts, which is a little, I guess, more risky. I don't know, but I think we can do it. Hi, Renee. <laughs> Excited for your piece print. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Um, but I'm going to apply three prints to three drawers, and then I'm going to apply the top coat on it. So you'll see this piece, which is painted in DIY paints. Um, let's see, a little black dress, no, black velvet you'll see this get darker, okay? So that's what we're gonna do today. So if any of you are feeling super generous, who's feeling super generous today? You can help me out and send this along into cyberspace, okay? If you're feeling generous, because it's always nice for us artists, us struggling artists, to get new people who are interested in what we do, and you're the ones who help us do that, okay? Um, I'm on uh, Facebook and YouTube, so I might miss some comments. Hi, Sue. Hi, Michelle. So my Karis crew can help me out. If you're able to answer any questions, I'm going to bend the camera down so you can see. Oh, good. I think you can see. So I've already cut these, and the way I did it was Kara style. Probably the smart people would actually measure it, right? But I just took it outside in the garage on the concrete floor, and I put the piece print um, on the floor and I put the um, I put the drawer on the piece print and I cut around it with an exacto knife and it worked just fine so I did it I made sure to do it when my husband husband wasn't home <laughs> because he would have been like no 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 hi Janet thanks for coming and hey if you're new here if you're new to my page um, go ahead and let me know where you're coming from it's so exciting for us to know that um, I'm going to put some tape back here so when I start it doesn't slide around and then I just take the tape off. Uh, that's something I learned from AJ. If somebody can um, tag AJ and let her know that I'm here, that would be fun. 
Okay, so just a little piece of washi tape and um, I'm just gonna go at it, you guys. You're gonna see how quick, how quickly I think. This is only my second full piece print. So I did the one on the, I'll show you at the end. If you stick to, if you stick with me, I'll show you when we're done, I'll show you my desk. I put the, the extra piece prints, I put them in the drawer. Yeah, in the drawer. So it's cool. Oh, Heather, can you, my love, can you post the links, um, the piece print links, my piece print links? So I'm going to pull this back, okay? I'm just going to peel it off. It's like a, like a transfer, if you've used transfers, a tiny bit thicker, but not really, not a lot. And I'm going to fold this, and what Amy was calling was, this was the handle, okay? I'm going to get that off there. And then I'm going to, sorry if I get in your way for a minute, but because I want to put this on nice and straight. And the piece is chalk painted, right? It has DIY paint, the clay, clay based paint. Um, so what I learned was you don't want to finish it with a poly and then put it on. It will stick too hard and make it hard for you if you need to lift it off. So you just do it on your chalk painted before you finish furniture. Um, in the drawers, it was the factory finish. And because I, I didn't have to worry about it being perfect because it was inside the drawers, I did not chalk paint it. I put it right on the factory finish and it just sure did stick like crazy. It did. Um, thank you, Heather. Thank you, thank you. Vintage Designs. Oh, hi, Steve. Is Steve here? Okay, so I've got this part down. So this is taped here, so it really won't move a lot. So I've got my tool. My tool's a little large. They come in different sizes. I'm going to need to get myself a smaller one, but I was doing such a huge piece. So let's get comfortable, Kara. Now I'm doing this one by myself today. So I'm going to go ahead and just go under here, and I'm going to grab, maybe I should grab with my left hand. And do this with my right hand yeah okay and then i'm just going to check and make sure i'm not going crooked okay it's a little bit see you can lift it back up it's going a little crooked so i'm just gonna i'm gonna kind of direction it to this way a little bit there you go I think you can lift it back up that way because I don't have that crazy finish on there. You know, it's chalky. So in order to get it to stay real good, you're going to have to press it down. Okay, so I'm going to keep on doing this all the way down. You can see it's probably a little bit easier with this smaller piece. Look at that, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna rub that up, there's a little wrinkle. And I guess there's channels, channel, little channels in it that allow you to rub the air bubbles out and they come right out. You just do that. There we go. So I'm gonna keep it up. Seems pretty, it's going pretty fast for me. Look at that. Nice! I'm loving it already. Okay, let me make sure I got the tape off my piece back here. And now it's going to go real fast, I think. Just tip that a little bit. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Oh, it's so great. So now I'm gonna put this in, in my dresser because this is an old vintage dresser. There's no hardware or nothing. Well, there's hardware, but there's no drawer slides. It's just, they sit in there. Uh, there's a little edge on here. And so I'm gonna smooth that down and cut it off like I did last night. That was so easy to do. So let's just get in here. There we go. It's got 
to get it started. I love this Funky Buds painting. Heather Watson bought, this is the second one I did of this, similar. Heather, bought, Heather Watson bought the one with the white background, so that's pretty cool. Hi, honey. Yeah, Delight's watching um, the start of the Ohio State game, so he's not available today to assist me, but it's okay. This is much easier. easier. Okay, here we go. Look. So that's going to go in there. Oh my gosh, that's so great. Is that so cool? Okay, so then the next drawer, I'm going to keep the wood showing here so it's going to have a little space between the, the buds. Should I look at, should I talk to you guys for a second? Going to get at least one. I have to check measurements. Yes, yes. That's the cool thing about these is you can, they, they offer them in several measurements. But if you really need a custom size, you can do that. You can order it in your custom size. Okay, I have to make sure that this is the next one, right? Looks like this is the next one. Okay. And I started it flush with the end here and falling over the end over here. So I'm going to put that tape on because I liked that. That really helped me a lot. This is so fun. Hi, Mary. <laughs> <coughs> I know you guys. So even if you don't want my artwork, you should go to peaceprints.com. Maybe you're an artist and you want to do something with your own artwork. You can do that on there. So just, just go check it out, right? I mean, fine, buy my art. I like that. <laughs> but maybe you want to do something special with your own art. Totally, you can do that. So I'm going to do this again. Pull this back. And then give this a little fold. Okay. Fold that and then put that on. Match it up to the end here. Move it down. I really, with how small this is, I don't even know if I need the tool. Maybe not. Look how fast this is, you guys. This is so fast. Monica, me too. Okay, you guys are talking to yourselves. I love it when my sisters. So if you are part of my creative group, give me a Kara's Crew, capital C's please. Kara's Crew, if you're in my creative group, give me a Kara's Crew with capital C's please. You know why I say capital C's. Okay, this could not be any easier, my friends. It really couldn't. Like, I'm... I just may have gone a little tiny bit crooked, but I think it's going to be very forgiving. There, just like that. Yes. Love it. I think um, for your big pieces, you need that tool. For the smaller ones, your hands. You know, I like using my hands. Hi, Kara. Hi, Carrie. I mean, Carrie, Carrie, Carrie. Kara's crew. Um, if there's, if you guys can answer any questions, I saw a question and I can't, when I do this on StreamYard, it's a lot harder to read than when it's on Facebook, but look how easy this is. Okay, and then this is good for smoothing out any wrinkles. 
something I noticed, like when you're done with this, you have to um, you have to finish it with a poly, a water-based polyacrylic. And something I noticed, it does exactly what decoupage paper is. You think you have no bubbles, and then you put the polyacrylic on, and a bubble comes. But when it dries, it goes back flat. So just like you know, if you guys do this, you know, decoupage paper, like tissue paper, does that. So, but we're going to do the whole process today. We're going to do the finishing and everything. Get it started here. Get that cut started. There we go. And this exacto knife just cuts right through it. I'll show you how thin it is. So. Somebody was asking me today, how thin, what does it feel like? How thin is it? It's almost as thin as transfer. So if you're, you know, familiar with like Iron Orchid or any of the other transfer company, it's almost as thin as that. Uh, maybe a little bit thicker because you're doing a whole sheet. You're not, not doing little pieces. Um, but it's easier, right? Okay, let's see how this looks. Get that edge down right there. <laughs> I love it. You guys love it? So far, so good, right? Oh my gosh, I love it. I don't want these drawers to get all the way in because I'll never get them out and we need to finish them. Okay, all right, I'm going to cut that off. There's got a little tail right there. There we go. Don't cut your fingers, Kara. There we go. There we go. The cool thing about this print is it's very forgiving. So if I screw up, I can just put a block of paint on. It's just gonna blend in. Okay, third drawer. How much time do we have invested in this? Not that much. You see how fast you can do these things. So I'm gonna ask you one time, guys, one time. If you're feeling generous, please go ahead and send this out. This is kind of a new adventure for me. I'm changing my focus a little bit to focus more on the two things I love, and that is art and furniture design. Art and furniture design, like, that's what I love doing, okay? And that's what I love doing. I have a creative group, and we teach a lot of art tutorials in there. I'm gonna be doing more furniture fi finishes in the creative group, but if you will help me and send this to somebody you think would appreciate it. That would be amazing. It's my goal to be able to sustain my family life by doing what I love doing. And it's my goal to find women and reach women and help them do the same thing and help to inspire them. Those are my goals. Okay, just lining it up right here. So I'm gonna put a flat finish on this today, a flat finish. On the piece that I did yesterday, I put a shiny finish. Um, but this one's going to get a flat finish, and, and mostly because I want to see how the, the these prints are shiny, but AJ says you can put a flat finish. I think I could probably put a top coat, a couple layers of top coat, and then wax if I wanted to. I think I could. Um, thank you, Carrie. How you doing, sis? I miss you. I feel like I have not seen hide more hair of you in a long, long time. We're gonna have to change that, right? 
hide nor hair. That's that's a old fashioned phrase, isn't it? Okay, I'm going crooked. So basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to get it up, figure out where I went crooked, put it down. Okay, this is the special tool, so you can use this tool, or if you're like me and you're a rebel, you can use your hands. Just call me a rebel, guys. Call me a rebel. And she's down. And when you do that, you can hear the air bubbles going right out. Whoops, there's one. There it goes. She's down. Whoops. Get them out down here. Nice. Okay, so. This isn't the best piece of furniture because it's old and it's got lots of bubbles, you know, like lots of holes in and of itself. So you cannot always expect perfection. Been super busy. Good. Busy's good, Carrie. Busy's, busy is good, right? If you've been busy, that means you've been productive. Trimming off, trimming off the stuff. Okay, and I got a little extra down here that I need to trim off. I have nightmares of myself, of cutting myself. See how easy that comes off? There we go. Now it's just the extra. Let's make sure there's no extra up here. There is, so I'll trim it. Probably from when I cut it, because I didn't do the best job cutting it, that's for sure. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put this on here and there's holes where the um, where the handles are gonna go, so I'm gonna poke those through, kind of like I do with um, the iron orchid stuff, right? I poke with my. I'm just gonna take my glasses and poke it through. I think it'll be fine. Yep. See, just so I know where the. Um, here it is. So it's super easy, right? Let's find the hole. There it is. Just poking it through. Just found what I could find. Just my glasses, no problem. get these drawers out. I will have to touch up like some black edges right here. I'll put, I'll touch that up with some black, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how I, how I'm going to finish these. So I've got some DIY Big Top. It's just a poly acrylic. That's all it is. You can use any water-based poly acrylic, I believe. Minwax, um, Dixie Bell products, whatever your water-based polyacrylic is. Um, big top is almost flat, not quite flat, so we'll see how it works out. But you're going to see my piece get more black, which is going to go better with what I'm doing. Okay, and I've got a nice big brush to do this with. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to start here. 
And I'm just gonna really get on the edge right there because I want it to get just sealed on. And I'm gonna do two of these thin coats and it just slides right on. It's not like when you do it with chalk paint and it soaks into the paint, it just slides right on. Okay, and you're gonna see, see how dark this is gonna get when I put this on here? Not the best brush for this. See how that matches? Oh, I'll bring you closer if you want to see. You guys want to come closer? Here. And then when I'm done, I'll show you my piece from last night, okay? There we go. Isn't it pretty, you guys? Okay, so just gonna see, I'm gonna have to paint this black because. The drawers, I didn't paint black. I just left them the color that the piece was originally. Y'all know, I, I mean, some of you know, I painted this during the day yesterday, um, but I will paint this black right here. So get it up nice in the edges right there. Make sure I don't have any drips. Whenever I paint with a poly, a water-based poly, I paint it on and then I let it sit for just a few minutes and then I go over it again. That gets rid of those surface bubbles that might pop up with poly. Um, so when it's just slightly tacky, I go over it again. It's self-leveling, so it totally, it's just something. It's something that has worked for me. Yeah, I love Big Top too. It's a good, it's a good poly. So let's get, now that we did the transfer, let's get this black paint in there. I'll um, put this in a little bit more so you guys can see the effect. I mean, that's a pretty rad piece of furniture, right? Look at that. I love the juxtaposition of the vintage and the modern together. Like, when I say furniture design, that's really, really where I'm going with that. It's just like, I'm not a, a vintage person. I'm not a shabby chic person. I want to make things fun and funky. Like, I want to take these things that have lost their character over time, and I want to build character. You know, it, I want to put character back into it. Does that make sense? Isn't it cool looking, you guys? Oh, thank you. You're absolutely phenomenal, Carrie. So if you're just coming on, I see there's a few more people on there. My name is Kara Lockwood. I'm using DIY paint products and a product called Peace Prints. And this is my own art on furniture. If you like something like this or some of the other things that I will show you, you can go to peaceprints.com. Heather's posting the link um, and you can order yours. I think several people ordered some last night, which is so great. But that's what it looks like, guys. And I have some gold handles. Y'all know me with the bright colors and the gold. There's a piece I need to pull off because it's just, I didn't cut it well enough. Um, but how cool is that? Right? How cool is that? Putting the love back, girl. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh my gosh. All right. Thank you guys. Okay. Do you guys want to see the um, dresser that I did last night? How it turned out? Wait, I love it. Now, if someone would tackle old abandoned buildings and turn them around like this, that would be cool too. Yes, it would be cool. There's a lot of cities around the country that are doing that. That's the one thing that I love about McKinney, Texas, is they take old abandoned, I mean, they, they've taken old buildings and instead of 
tearing them down and making the old town modern, which a lot of the cities do, they are using the old buildings and making beautiful stores and restaurants in them. Yes, show us the dresser. Okay, the desk, I will. Okay, I'm gonna have to take you off the thing. So, ooh, ooh, thank you. I'm gonna have to take you off because I don't wanna carry this around the light, but I will take you this way. And I'm gonna have to look. Okay, so here it is. I, I put two coats of poly, of shiny, shiny poly acrylic, right? And I'm gonna show you, I'll show you the front, the way it looks like in the front. Oh, but watch this. Da, da, da. Cool, right? So look at little Buddha's face matches up, the leaf matches up. Isn't it cool, you guys? So there it is from far away. Cool, right? I'm in love with it, I really am. It's my dresser for my new space and my, my new venture. So, all right, you guys. Well, <laughs> I want to thank you. I want to thank you for one, for coming and supporting me. I want to thank you for, I don't know, all saying all the nice things that you say in here and uh, for supporting all of us and any of the small businesses out there. I appreciate it so much. Hi, Deborah. <laughs> Peace prints number two, all done. I appreciate it so much. I love you all and thanks for watching. Bye guys.